Lesson 5.2 Inverse Function So we can define inverse function um, based on any given original functions such as if we have fx equal to maybe x minus 4 okay then how to determine the inverse function in order to solve this problem we need to know what inverse means okay if it is function because we are talking about inverse function here if it is function then any function case we have input which we indicate x value and then output value which is we indicate y value here so as long as it's input then I mean function then each x value has only one only one y value basically okay so that's the function uh, definition of the function anyway now inverse means you are switch y become x and x become y that's what this means so inverse function case input value this is the original y value and the output which will be original x value even though we will indicate this is x this is y okay then you want to find out inverse function of this function then you need to switch this function as y equal to x minus 4 first and then switch x and y position here okay then this becomes x equal to y minus 4 right and now function means we always solve for output value which means in this case we are solving for y so combine 4 then uh, y equal to x plus 4 this one you can rewrite that y equal to x plus 4 so that's the inverse function of this given original fx function okay but now here it is given as fx function so inverse function we can rewrite this f prime x okay this is inverse function notation equal to x plus 4 that is the inverse function of original fx equal to x minus 4 so let's look at another example so gx equal to x squared plus 5 here so you want to find the inverse function then you we rewrite this y equal to x squared plus 5 and then switch x and y position basically then this becomes x equal to y squared plus 5 and then now you substitute 5 then y squared equal to x minus 5 so you can rewrite this y squared equal to x minus 5 and then you take square root don't forget plus and minus then y equal to plus and minus square root x minus 5 so this case unfortunately uh, we cannot say there's no inverse function exists unless we limitate the direction here either plus side or minus side okay so then anyway we can rewrite this g inverse x now as i told you we determine either square root x minus 5 or negative square root x minus 5 otherwise it won't be the function 
uh, let's look at uh, one another example given h x equal to x q same way we want to find out inverse function so rewrite this y equal to x cube and then switch x and y position then this becomes x equal to y cube okay so you can rewrite y cube equal to x and then cubic root both sides then y equal to cubic root x there is the inverse function of this original function so you can rewrite using functional notation h prime x equal to cubic root x okay